Alright, hello, and welcome to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force Arc 5 for Arc V Special. I normally call it Arc V, but a couple people were telling me that it's actually Arc 5. I'm not sure if there's any truth to that, but... I don't know, so I do have Tag Force 6 save data. Um, I will load that, just because it lets me get better cards easier. Oh, shit. Uh, did not mean to click that. I am not a beginner. Um, set that to the highest difficulty. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Sorry for the shitty commentary. I'm very new to this, but, yeah, that's about all. So, I doubt any of you listening to this don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is, or what the rules of it are, so I won't really waste my time explaining it. We are going to start with Yu-Gi, just because it's a nice, simple start. It helps people get used to Yu-Gi-Oh! without really having to deal with things like XYZ, Synchros, you know, those things. Personally, I don't really have too much of a problem with them, but I know a lot of people just like this game because they remind some of their childhood and don't really pay too much attention to the current metagame. Speaking of the metagame, this game has very recent cards in it. Like, for those of you who do keep up with the metagame, this is... Right now, the new pack... I... Shit, I can never remember the names of these things, but point is... New pack's just on horizon right now. The metagame can just more or less consists of um, uh, Necros. Do you like Necros? If not, too bad. Yeah, they are really good and, well, not too much else to say. I personally don't like playing them that much, but that's just me. They are in this game, though. So yeah, how this game works is this is how we're going to be looking at most of the game. We just mouse over to somebody we want to fight, let's say Joey. Click A and then hit Duel, but we aren't going to do that. Because as you can see, since I have a Take 4 6 account, well, not account. Er, sorry, I hiccuped. Not account, but save. I have lots of dueling points, which is the currency you see up in the top right corner. So we are going to go into the shop. So, this is the shop screen, it's nothing too groundbreaking if you haven't figured that much out. So, there are lots of different things you can do. Like, there are the individual packs up here, which unlike the earlier Tag Force games, these are based off of the real packs and not... They aren't just things like beginner monster shit like that. Well, you can unlock those, but yeah, there's n really no point as everything in those packs can be found elsewhere in these packs or are just completely outclassed by them. So, if you're playing this game and you'd like my tips, um, I'd say save up to 3,000 to 9,000. Well, here's how this is going to work. If you want you're going to want to buy three structure decks off the bat. So that could be any one of these you want. For most of them, you'll need 3,000 DP to buy three, but the bottom three in the corner over here, you're going to need 9,000 to buy three copies of. As you can see, I have more than 9,000, so I can easily do that. Um... Hmm... I'll get into archetypes you can find in the packs a bit later, but for now, I think I'm just going to go for heroes. So you can find heroes right here. Buy three copies of that. Now, if you're planning on building a hero deck, then a good place to go would be the premium packs. Particularly this one. So you're going to want to buy a bit of these and this one. I recommend buying half the box. I know I overshot it on the early one there, but what can I really do? So, yeah, we're going to see what we get. Um, hmm. 
so we get all of this basically um yeah they're heroes nothing too groundbreaking the reason I chose them is because heroes are a very recognizable archetype so I'm sure even if some of you don't really keep up with the metagame you'll still know what heroes are how they like to play well not really how they like to play cuz if you only ever watch the show then you'd think oh well they fusion and you'd be kind of right kind of for the most part they now work off this card called mask change which I will show off in a little bit I will build my deck in between episodes and since this is just the first episode here I'll just do one duel against Joey here cuz no real reason not to and then I'll have to build my deck off camera as I am using a new recording software Rexplit for those of you curious so I'm not really sure of what all the hotkeys are I probably should have checked before I started recording but hey hindsight is indeed 2020 so one cool thing about this game that I think it and six were the only ones that ever really did this you can go into your load recipes and there'll be some decks that are pre-built for you and of course you can also find the one we just bought here but on its own it's not really that good so we're gonna be using starting deck three it's just in my opinion the best of the three of them and I know I said we're gonna be dueling Joey but I just kinda remember that he really likes to just stall you out with scapegoats and fairy box, so we're actually gonna be fighting Tristan, um, uh, Tristan Taylor, Honda Hiroto, and Japan. So the reason I chose to go um, uh, the original series first, I've already stated this, is because it's very, very simplistic. It's never anything too complicated. Well, I mean, I know I said you guys wouldn't really have to put up with the XYZs or Synchros, but I lied. So, what Starter Deck 3 is, it's very much a Psychic Deck. So, it just really is Emergency Teleport, Synchro, Rinse, Repeat until you win. Not a bad strategy, really. I mean, normally, since the Psychics are here, a lot of the Psychic Synchros are based around gaining life points. So by the end of these games, if you're playing the Psychic deck, you normally tend to have like easily in the tens of thousands of life points. Which isn't really that hard, but at the same time, it's definitely more than you normally would. So I'm just going to focus on trying to basically beat him down as quickly as humanly possible. May as well set these, no reason not to I suppose, I don't really want to leave them in attack position, they only have 200 attack points, so it's not really going to end that well. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, if you'd like more, please subscribe, and like the video, I mean, not too much else to say, I know some pe or a lot of people don't like when people advertise their own videos ironically myself included but hey I'm a hypocrite what can I say oh shit so this is gonna be going on for one turn longer than I thought it would have but not that it really matters as this video is already overwhelmingly short I think so I might end up just stitching this together with the other recording Seems like that'd make the most sense. But, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, you guys won't be able to see it, but I'm just opening up XSplit here, so. Let's see how long I've been going for, hopefully. Um, well, it's helpful that it tells me how long I've been going for in gigabytes, but not in time. And that's really what I'm looking for, so. Huh. So this leaves me in a bit of an awkward situation, so I guess that ends it for now. Well, 
possibly if I'm lazy and forget to stitch it in with the second video. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new deck.